to understand federal structure, are there certain concepts that need to be, uh, to, to be understood very briefly? Uh, the federal structure or a federal government is a government which comprises of somewhat autonomous entities which are called state in some countries uh, or provinces, in Pakistan we call provinces, which are semi-autonomous and yet part of the central government. So it's a fed federal form of government where a political entity in which the federating units are um, uh, partially autonomous uh, to, to legislate uh, their own policies and program. So in this structure, we find that there are, um, there are three types of governments altogether. Is the federal government, uh, which, is, uh, which uh, is a reflection or, or which comprises of a union of uh, states uh, com uh, comprising of Federation, it's a central government, sometimes people call it. And then there are provincial governments, which are, which are called the state uh, governments in some countries. Uh, in Pakistan, we call it provincial governments. They are autonomous in certain ways because they're independent to legislate or formulate their own policies. And finally, are the local governments. This is the third tier of the government is the local government. And this government, and all these governments, three governments, they comprise of the, the, legis the, the legislation is done by the representative, by the elected representative of people. According to the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, um, the Federation of Pakistan comprises the territories of Pakistan. They comprise of four provinces of Pakistan, right? There is the Islamabad capital territory, uh, which is also called ICT. Then there is federally administered tribal areas called FATA. And then we have such states and territories as may be included in Pakistan, whether by accession, like accession or otherwise. And these territories are the territories of Gilgit Baltistan and uh, Azad Jammu and Kashmir territories. So they all constitute the state of Pakistan.